So hi guys, Craig Hansen. How good is Greg Norman? How good was this guy? Just pulverized golf courses, the rock star of the golf game. And uh, yeah, just voted into, inducted into the Hall of Fame in 2001 by 80%, the highest amount of votes ever. He won 89 tournaments, couple of major championships, runner up about eight times. And uh, yeah, was known for his prodigious length and uh, unbelievable driving the golf ball. Now leave your comments underneath here because a lot of people say, have a look at that, that swing I just got. A lot of people say that he was the greatest driver of the golf ball of all time. I spent a fair bit of time with Dr. Jim Suddy, great coach in America, and he said it was just, who helped him out for a little while, he said it was just unbelievable. You'd never seen anything like it. He just hit every drive into certain areas of the fairway and just so powerful and long. The guy was like a boxer. He'd come out and say, look, I'm going to win the event. And it probably didn't, you know, a lot of people didn't sort of like that. But for the game and how exciting he was, uh, how explosive that uh, he was, really, really exciting. And uh, it was great to watch him dominate events and uh, yeah, get the ratings right up. Now, this guy was... Uh, Known for also, you know, it was great putter, just but great ball striking all around, and you can just see shots. And in the 90s in Australia, the golf was, uh, it was just the crowds were massive, it was huge. And this guy would just come out there and hit shots like that all the time, playing with Ola Thabal in this event here. Let's get in there and have a look at some of the, the unique moves. When I, first off, what you saw early on in his career was just a big, high, long swing. He loved Jack Nicholas and uh, you know, try to copy his motion a bit. Have a look at that move through the ball though. There really is something about these swings where they're arching the back and they've got the width and you know, they're just those old persimmon woods and the ballada balls and they just pounded it straight down the fairway at prodigious lengths. Incredible athletes. It wasn't really a swing that was sort of meant to be for senior golf. <laughs> so when, when I get in there and have a look at this, it looks like he's on a slippery surface there. Have a look at that. It, it's sort of a young man's swing. And I mean, a lot of people say, oh, it's going to hurt your back. But you, are you playing for your senior golf? You know, you, who cares who's ranked seventh as a senior? Do you know what I mean? I don't mean it bad, but you know, you, you, you're in your golden years and you're trying to sort of, you know, get in there and uh, dominate and if you've got a swing that's sort of not great on your back, then sort of so be it, if that's if you end up a legend. And uh, he's doing fine now. If you see him on social media, the guy's riding his bike on the beach and he's full of muscles. Guys, let's have a look at these footwork here. I'm just going to pop over Tiger Woods on the other side here because some of these guys, I'm sorry about the pitch on the left that's a bit blurry, but it just sort of shows the footwork here. I mean, talent is ridiculous. You know, I mean, these guys are, are 10 times better than you think they are. Have a look at Woods. It's almost like they just sort of... Even if something's not right, they'll fix it up anyway, creating room and sliding back. Look at those feet moving. I mean, that's really remarkable, isn't it? Now, later on, he worked with Butch Harmon and really turned it into, you know, an awesome looking golf swing. And uh, with shots like this, you know, in golf in the 90s was huge. The crowds, you can see the crowds there, they were just massive in Australia. Obviously, these days with everything that's going on, it's no longer the case, but still it was bigger back then. Uh, even without COVID-19. Now, just unbelievable iron shots. When you have a look at the guy's shoulder plane, it didn't really differ that much from the irons to the woods, which is remarkable. Now, if you've seen some of my other videos, the two average here, look at the shoulder plane. This is what a lot of people don't even look at. You look between 39 to 45 degrees. Now, how strong does that position look? He actually, later on in the career, really lowered the left arm position, lower than the shoulder plane. Something that a lot of people can do, it's an easier style, and I'll show you this on worldclassgolf.com. The style of swing is called Deep to Shallow, a complete series on that one, 900 videos there. Guys, let's have a look at the leg work here. You see that the right leg actually went back. So you've got different transitions from the top, right? You've got Tiger Woods there hammering the right side, and you've got Norman pulling the right side back. And for a lot of people, there's, you know, you've got to understand there's different sort of ways to transition. You know, you've got to bump, bump and hold. You've got to bend and snap style, where you see Rory McIlroy bending knees and pulling them back. Or well, you've got this almost this holding back type of a transition here, like a Lee Westwood. And for a lot of people, like when you see the, the feet, you're looking at one of the best ball strikers of all time, you're seeing very, you know, the hips not very far open. You with me? So if you come in a little bit steep, sometimes this style of swing can work, you know, wonders for you. You do see that the shoulders, however, are quite a bit open. So he was, he sort of kept the right side very passive. He spoke about his right hip. He liked to get that moving up and back in his backswing. So he got his shoulder plane and his, and his hip plane, you know, working really, really nicely and uh, get those, got those, those planes 
you know, quite similar to each other, but we see a lot. Some of the stuff, as I said, we're showing you on warclassgolf.com. Guys, having a look at that initial move, you'll see that the left leg, it just the knee, it doesn't twist as quick. There's a little bit of flex to it, and almost that right leg moving backwards. And for a lot of people, this is a great way to bring yourself in, get a passive right side, and uh, will help for a lot of players that have a different loading effect. In Norman Sharp's quite steep, but it would flatten out down the bottom. And, and millions of people have this type of pattern. World Class Golf Instruction has over 700 detailed videos for every golfer. Practice programs and evidence-based material is applied to helping you to become your own coach and play your best golf. And join us in the chat room and join the community of World Class Golf Instruction. Now, when you're looking at strength, this is just a, a wide swing you know strong wrist angles and really when you look at these shoulders quite remarkable that he can get his shoulders i think this is a three wood you know at 40 degrees with his with his shoulders have a look at the power in that pivot you can see it all coiled up and this is you know through the other side he really did uh, bend oh, he, got, he gets it almost swings it better with the the longer clumps doesn't he? he gets that right elbow coming in and this is when he won the british open and you know, in the clothes, they still look good, don't they? He's sort of, he really, really stood out and playing with Bernard Langer, one of the best, uh, you know, iron players of all time and pulled off a fantastic victory. So you can see the arching of the back there, guys. Great move, great player. What an exciting individual. And talent is an amazing thing, guys. Online lessons, craighansongolf.com. Uh, teaching people all around the world. Have a look at World Class Golf Instruction, worldclassgolf.com, free trial series there. Uh, that platform really growing and uh, working with V1 Golf now. And uh, we've got some amazing deals on this software that I'm using here for people to use and get in there and analyze your swings. We'll be teaching you, you know, so many different things. Guys, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.